As, as Jean mentioned, I have been traveling for over six years with, with the UN Refugee Organization, and I have had the great, great honor of spending time and getting to know refugee children and children of conflict. And they are remarkable. They are grateful and they are determined. They will sit in a 110 degree plastic tent with no floor, with no pens, with no notebooks, having not had breakfast and having had no chance for lunch, just to sit and hear a teacher talk. And these are the kids that, that could be overwhelmed by despair and violence, or these are the kids that are going to be the tomorrow's teachers and engineers and leaders of their countries and doctors and lawyers, and they will help rebuild their broken countries. And yet, education is often, often forgotten. Over 20 million children of conflict are out of school. Some think that we should only provide emergency relief to these children. Even though a child in conflict is in conflict on average 17 years, they say that education is not life-saving. And I would say that all of us would beg to differ. So that is why Jean and I did start speaking about three years ago. We figured we should do something. Um, but, but we knew that, that what we had to do was find a way to create a partnership that would specifically focus on improving the profile and policies and funding for these children. We knew that we shouldn't start from scratch because there were these amazing people doing things and we shouldn't find one organization because there wasn't just one. And so the idea was, let's find the people that are already doing great work. Let's work with them. Let's hear about what they think is, is, is the best way to, to approach these situations, all the different ways, because there are very specific needs for these children and, and very specific things that need to be done for, the, for, for, their different, uh, for their different hardships. And let's see how we can work with them to bring them together or find ways to, to just all do better together. So this is what we've done. And the results we're announcing today could not be more inspiring. So we're very excited. Altogether, the Education Partnership for Children of Conflict is announcing 18 commitments together with 15 that would be covering 15 different countries. And what that means is that today we're announcing that over a million children, because of our coming together, uh, will in some way their lives and their education will absolutely be improved. So this is a very exciting day. And I would like to mention a few of them and, and describe their efforts to you. Save the Children will expand their inspired Rewrite the Future campaign. Nike and Microsoft are working with UNHCR to relaunch the 9million.org campaign to raise funding for sports and education for 9 million children in refugee camps. Children's Investment Fund Foundation and Unbound Philanthropy, we'd like to thank them for their seed money for our partnership, making this possible and for their respective commitments to northern Uganda and southern Sudan. The expansion of the Norwegian Refugee Council's Innovative Accelerating Learning Program is wonderful. The IRC's expansion of healing classrooms into Afghanistan and Sudan. Sesame Street's new Sesame Street Afghanistan. GTZ's expansion for their education in southern Sudan. GSM's expansion of wireless connectivity for education in refugee camps in northern Uganda. Valentino Echek Deng Foundation's commitment to build a quality secondary boarding school in Sudan. The American Jewish Committee's grassroots efforts for children of Darfur. The Center for Mind Body Medicine, their expansion of its Healing the Wounds of War education programs in Gaza. The Escuela Nueva Foundation's expansion to provide holistic education to children suffering in Colombia. And finally, in the last couple of weeks, we've been able to inspire this brand new partnership that we're very excited about between UNICEF, Microsoft, Hewlett-Packard, and IRC to provide <coughs> distance learning for displaced children, including children affected by Iraqi conflict and the Palestinian children in the occupied territories. Now, I've been wondering exactly how to put this in perspective when I came here today, and I... And I uh, you know, I talked to Jean about it. I said, it's so, it's so crazy. We're all here to, to try to say education is important. And we all know it is. And we're all educated people. So not to compare one effort is more important than the other. 
But to put things in perspective and maybe help to understand why we maybe need to adjust the way we're doing things in the world. The conflict in Iraq has displaced over 4 million people. And there is an appeal from UNICEF and UNHCR to address the education needs of many of these children. The entire appeal equals about eight hours of current spending in Iraq. So just a few hours would send 150,000 children to school. And nothing wins more hearts and minds, and nothing gives more freedom than education. And nothing is a better deterrent for conflict than an educated society. So we have to get our priorities in order, and we have a lot of work to do, but I'm very happy to be working with all of you, and thank you so much for being here, and thank you for allowing me to speak.